for the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, I'm Bird White, the Secretary of Transportation of the state. Do a good job, but don't punch this is This is another, this is another roads to prosperity that, that would not have happened without the vision of Jim Justice. This has been on the drawing board for years and years and sitting there, and only with his vision have we been able to get this started and get it going. Before he speaks, I want to introduce to you Robbie Morris, who is the chairman of the Quarter H Authority, and I think he's got a, a few words to say. Thank you. Before I begin, um, we have a special presentation uh, to be made by the mayor of the city of Parsons, Dorothy Judy. So I'd like to welcome her to the podium. Well, we want to welcome um, the governor here. Just proud that you could come by and see us. Very proud so we want to give you a, a certificate of appreciation. This certificate is awarded to Governor Jim Justice in recognition of his dedication in finishing quarter H, making it our great state the best it can be, and forever for never giving up on us. We like that slogan. Presented to you on the 21st day of October 2019. Okay, all right. Thank you all so much in every way. Well, and thank you for working on quarter H as hard as you have. Well, I really believe in that project, that's for sure. Well, we're working on trying to get ready for it. Okay, all, all good. Right. Okay, thank all you. All right, I'm going to give this back to you just for a minute, but okay. don't you run you off with to, it. You want me to lay it here? Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm going to leave this right here, too. Okay. Okay, thank you all so much. Now put this up Okay, thank thanks, you, sir. No, thanks thank you all so us. much. Yes. Bless you all. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell you what we're doing. Huh? <laughs> all right, good afternoon. On behalf of the Robert C. Byrd Quarter H Highway Authority, it is an honor and privilege for me to be here today. As outlined by West Virginia Code, the Quarter H Authority's mission is to promote the completion of Quarter H and foster the economic development that will come along its path. Since 2011, we have been doing just that. Building off the people and organizations that came before us, we have been striving to make the promise made decades, decades ago become a reality. That promise being the creation of a four-lane highway through the heart of the Potomac Highlands, connecting I-79 in North Central West Virginia to I-81 in Virginia. The connection of these interstates will open up the economies of not only the communities along its path, but far-reaching areas throughout our beloved mountain state. You can see the development, you can see it as the increased traffic counts, and you can see the potential a completed quarter H will bring, even with a major section in the middle and on one end incomplete. The benefits of this highway are evident now and will only continue to grow. In 2015, members of the Quarter H Authority met with our congressional representatives asking for additional funding to complete Quarter H. At that time, we were told while they would do their best, the timing was not right in Washington. West Virginia would have to take the lead and do what it could to propel the construction forward. We took that message back to Charleston and the state has done just that. For this project to be completed, it requires the unyielding support of the governor and the West Virginia Division of Highways. We have been blessed to have that support in the past, and we have that great support continuing with us today. Second, um, second as part of that message that came in 2015, thank you, sir, uh, West Virginia would have to develop new funding sources for quarter H. 
With the leadership of Governor Justice and support of the West Virginia Legislature, new revenue, revenue sources were put into place that would allow for the overwhelming passage of Governor Justice's Roads to Prosperity bond program. We are seeing the fruits of that program here today. In 2018, April of 2018, members of the Quarter H Authority returned to Washington to meet with our congressional representatives, saying, okay, you asked, the state delivered. Now it's your turn. With tremendous support from our entire delegation, 120 million additional dollars have been awarded to Quarter H construction since December of 2018. If the proposed highway funding bill pass, passes as currently drafted, Quarter H would see an additional 13 to 16 million dollars annually, as well as the introduction of several new grant programs that we feel Quarter H is primed to take advantage of. Through the vision and leadership of Governor Justice, Transportation Secretary White, and Highways Commissioner Riston, Quarter H has tremendous, trem tremendous momentum working for it right now. From day one of his administration, Governor Justice has said that Quarter H is a top priority. We thank him for following through on those words and allowing many West Virginians to believe for the first time that the completion of Quarter H could be coming into view. While we have a great deal of work left to do, we are confident that it will be full steam ahead to complete Quarter H in an efficient and effective manner that protects our environmental, environmental, cultural, and historical assets while also, also unleashing the economic potential Quarter H has already shown to bring with it. Again, on behalf of the Quarter H Authority and all West Virginians, thank you for making Quarter H's completion a priority, and we look forward to working with you on achieving this long overdue goal. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you the Governor of the great state of West Virginia, the Honorable Jim Justice. Well, I'm going to just kind of pull up here and just talk to you just for a second. <clears throat> In just one second, I'll talk about quarter H. But when I was getting out of the car here, you know, uh, and maybe, maybe I should just not mention this, but this is not me. You know, there's a gentleman here, I have no idea who it may be, but uh, the, the right of way of quarter H had to take his home. And, and he's had a terrible loss since then. And all I can say is from the bottom of my heart, uh, we pray and I know that it's, you know, it's just not enough. But you see, as we move forward with things, there's those that hurt. And uh, we should always remember that. You know, it's, uh, it's really, it's really, really just uh, what is, makes us who we are in the fabric of who we are. So whomever you are, my prayers are with you and all of our prayers are with you. And I just hope and pray that uh, some way you'll, you'll get through all this stuff stuff and, uh, and things will be better. But now let me, let me not just immediately just flip the pages. You know, it, uh, from the standpoint of your governor, from the standpoint of what I'm supposed to do for you, I think, I'm supposed to, with all in me, try to provide opportunity and goodness for our state. Now, along the way, there's things that are tough, but I can tell you just this. And now I've told you this before, and this is exactly how I feel. The number one priority as far as highways in this state has always been the same one with me, and that's quarter H. Now, with that being said, here's what I think and I hope can very well happen. Quarter H brings us jobs. It brings us opportunity. It brings us exposure. It brings us so much, it's unbelievable. And I think that we're sitting where the exit is going to be for Parsons right here. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. We have to give a lot of credit and a lot of accolades to the great people of the Department of Highways. 
the great people that do this great work all the time in, in the Department of Transportation, all of you, we have delegates here, we have mayors here, we have county commissioners here, we have really important people here, people that are representing congressmen and everything else under the sun. Now, more importantly than anything, we have you. You, the people that need opportunities, the people that need jobs, the people that need to grow, the people that don't need to leave our state over and over and over to try to get a job to try to just go somewhere where you can get a job. We don't need Aunt Edith to want to have a picnic and have her grandchildren there and they're not there. And the reason they're not there is they're in Charlotte and they're in Denver and they're in Atlanta because they had to go somewhere else to get a job. Now, all the things that Quarter H will bring us, they'll bring us opportunity They'll bring us revenue. They'll bring us things for our schools. They'll bring us so much. And so today is a really proud day for me. Now, let me go one step further. If you want to complete quarter H and you want it to be done now, right now, what is our ticket to do that? Well, I'll tell you what our ticket to do that is. Our ticket to do that is a federal infrastructure program mm -hmm. that, that President Trump is trying to get through so badly it's unbelievable. Now I will promise you to the good Lord above that once he gets the pathway to get that through he will come to his buddy who's sitting on this really strong stool and he'll, tell, he'll say to his buddy as he's already done what's the most important projects that you have because we want to fund them and we want to finish them. And without question, you don't ever, ever have to think. You don't have to ever have to hesitate. If I tell you something, to my soul above, I'm going to absolutely come right back and tell you the truth always. It'll be a seven tomorrow if I tell you it's a seven today. And without question, when he says to me just that, we have the dollars. We're going to spend all kinds of money. We're going to spend money in your state. What's the most important project? It's going to be quarter H. It's all there is to it. Now, there's surely other projects all across our state that need done. One of them is so far away from you that you wouldn't have any idea about it. And that's the Coalfield Expressway. It connects the southern part of our state to the world. And those people, like you, in lots of ways are hurting. That's a project that needs done also. 29 years it's been on the books. 29 years they've made, they've done pieces of it that basically were bridges to nowhere. 29 years it's set there. It needs done too. And there's many more. But I'm going to tell you without question, this is the one that brings us the most opportunity. So I haven't wavered. I haven't changed. I'm really proud to be here with you. My prayers are out to that gentleman in every way, shape, form, or fashion. And my prayers are to you. And I'm absolutely proud of you in every way, shape, form, or fashion. I could not be more proud or more sincere. So God bless you for having me. What an incredible day. I drove up here. I drove from White Sulphur I drove through White Sulphur Springs up Route 92 to many ha, ha springs, I came through Durban. I can't, you know, it, it, you know, it just was unbelievable. I'd already passed Green Bank. I came from there to Huttonsville, you know, up to Canaan Valley and over to Parsons. How could anybody in their right mind not think that this is the most beautiful place on earth to live? It's all there is to it, you know. And all we got to do is sell ourselves, tell the world how good we are, and be proud of who we are. Sell ourselves. That's what I want to do. So listen, in every way, again, God bless and thank you for having me.